Hello everyone and welcome to another Pyro Gaming video. This week's Ordeal Nightfall is the Warden of Nothing, and to my knowledge this is the first time that this has been the Ordeal Nightfall since Shadowkeep came out and Ordeals became a thing. Um, this gameplay that you're watching is me and a couple of friends on a legend version of this Ordeal Nightfall. That is the 1000 power difficulty, and in case you're wondering, yes it is entirely possible to get 100k score in the 1000 power level version. Now, typically, the deciding factor in the Ordeal Nightfalls that determines whether or not you're going to get 100,000 score in the Legend version is pretty much based on how many champions are in the Legend version. And there are a ton of champions in the Legend version of this ordeal. Now, this one is kind of deceptive because it's going to feel like it's really light. You're going to enter Varix's room, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, Skolas's room, and you're going to look at your score and be like, dude, there's no way that we're getting 100,000 in this Nightfall. But I promise you, it's it's more than it's more than doable. We would have had probably around 120,000 score had it not been for my friend Skiro having some serious connection issues whenever we were trying to do the boss. I don't know how it's up. I'm so, hey, I'm so confused. Pyro, I don't know where we're at. I'm the last Guardian standing. Yeah, I'm you really need. I'm the last guardian standing too, this is weird. But, garbage connections notwithstanding, let's go ahead and talk loadouts and strategies. First things first, for what I believe is the first time in the Ordeal Nightfalls, we have all three types of champions. This is an unstoppable champion, overload champions, and barrier champions. So you will need to spec your weapons accordingly. Make sure that if you're running with a fire team of three, what we did is I was the unstoppable round, Scarrow was the overload round, and Batgirl was the barrier rounds. As far as team composition, we were all three hunters and we made it through with little to no problems. But I'm always going to recommend that if you are running a team of three, if you really want to optimize everything, just run one Titan, one Hunter, one Warlock. Each class has their own thing that they can bring to the table and make things easier for everybody else. Hunters, Orpheus Rig Tether, you are the orb generator. Warlocks, well, is never going to be a bad play. You can also do something like a Devour Nova Bomb build, or maybe even mix things up and go Bottom Tree Dawnblade and go for Ad Clear. The adds in this strike are pretty easy to deal with because most of them are just Vex Goblins or low level Cabal. There are quite a few orange bars, and as I said at the beginning of the video, there are a lot of champions. But for the most part, general ad clear is not going to be that big of a problem. There's not a whole lot of shields in the strike. For Titans, you are never going to be wrong for equipping Bubble. Uh, Titan Bubble is pretty much a staple. It's good in any situation, any strike, any activity in PvE. It's just always fun to have. You could also go with something like Middle Tree Void subclass with maybe something like a Doomfang, just again for general ad clear. You will see large clusters of adds throughout the duration of this strike. As for weapon loadouts, as I said towards the beginning of the video, you will have all three types of champions in this Ordeal Nightfall this week. This is Barrier Champions, Unstoppable Champions, and Overload Champions. Something like Divinity will not only give your teammates a damage buff on selected targets, but it also intrinsically has Overload Rounds built in. So keeping little things like that in mind are going to help you out in the long run. You want to optimize your loadouts as much as possible. As far as shield types go, meaning elemental shield types, we only encountered Void and Solar. I personally did not see any arc. I don't think that we had any arc in our instance. That's not to say that something might change and there's maybe a Harpy in here that wasn't in our run in particular. But make sure that you have Void and Solar for sure because there are Void Minotaurs as well as some Void uh, little Cabal dudes. And then there are also the Solar Cabal dudes that float up in the air and try to shoot you. Some weapons that are really going to stand out in here are things like Xenophage, which is going to hit really hard and give you solar damage. It's going to be really handy against those solar shields. Something like Mountaintop that you see me using here is always good against things like Champions, Majors, Yellow Bars, and so on. You can also use Recluse in this if you haven't. Not only is it going to be able to give you the overload as well as the anti-barrier effect, but it will also help with your void shields. If you don't have any of those, I would say go to hand cannons. Something like a Kindled Orchid, for example, would be good for unstoppable rounds, plus you have void damage. You get the idea. 
you just want to make sure that you have those two main elements covered and i would go ahead and have somebody run either a arc subclass or maybe an arc energy weapon like this um, this is our first run so i didn't know what kind of shield types to expect going in so i just went ahead and threw on a nation of beast and put an unstoppable mod on it and it got the job done this was my general ad clear weapon uh, to deal with all the little ads and stuff like that and then i had mountaintop for my orange bars and then i had xenophage for the things that were a little bit more chunky as well as things that had solar shields as far as your score goes you can see that we're already pretty far into this strike we only have two rooms left to clear that is the uh, prison of elders room and then the final boss room and our score is only at 40,000 you know 45,000 right around that general area uh, the reason that the score is so low isn't because we're missing enemies we're killing everything in this strike up until this point but uh it's because that almost all of the champions in this strike come in the next two rooms there are two champions in the boss fight itself but this next room i think has like five or seven i can't remember exactly but uh, the Prison of Elders room is where you're going to get your score. Uh, we got to the boss room with plenty of score. We didn't have to do the boss phases like we do in this video. Um, you're probably going to, if you kill all the champions, kill all the orange bars, kill all the little ads and stuff like that. When you get to the boss room, you're probably okay to just go ahead and melt him uh, as soon as he spawns and not deal with any of the extra ads, extra waves, anything like that. The reason that we didn't was one, like I said, one of my friends was having some serious connection issues, and two, we just did not have the ammo. For whatever reason, we were not getting very good ammo drops throughout this entire Nightfall. Um, I don't think that the modifier is on that actually decreases your ammo drops, but for whatever reason, it just wasn't happening, man. Like, we got there and we were out of special, we were out of heavy, and we just kind of had to make do with what we had. But as long as you're killing everything, especially the champions and the orange bars, you are probably going to just breeze through this. The last thing that I'm going to leave you with is in case you're curious, the score starts to deteriorate at 20 minutes into the strike. So once you've reached 20 minutes, that's when you start losing half of your score. And then I would assume between 22 and 25 minutes is going to be whenever your score just stops earning completely and just slowly starts ticking down. So as long as you're able to finish this in 20 minutes, which I feel like most people are going to be able to do that no problem, you're going to be golden, man. It's going to be all good. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and cut the commentary portion of the video here. Feel free to stick around and watch the rest of the strike play out if you would like to see the locations of the champions. If you enjoyed this video, click like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I fucking love you. Thank you guys so much for watching and take care.